How are you? I'm okay. Um, I am happy and sad. It is, it's, a, it's a sad day. I need to say goodbye to a lot of people I have uh, used a lot of time with and had uh, very special moments with. And uh, today is the last day that I see many of uh, these faces that I have seen in the last three years. And uh, I just have left to say thank you all. And it has been, you have all been there to make this a very special three years for me. And uh, the moments that we share uh, on and off the pitch, I will never forget. Uh, I remember that I got a phone call in uh, Norway where I could go to this club in Poland that I didn't know so much about um, and I was uh, I was very excited because uh, I like to travel new places and I like to experience new cultures so uh, I remember the day I went on the on the plane to go to Poland and I went out to see the club and I was very excited to be here and I'm Mikkel Kirkeskov. I spiller vensterback og jeg er 26 år gammel. Jeg kommer fra Danmark og jeg glæder mig til en rigtig god sæson med alle sammen. first impression was that I met a lot of guys who uh, who want to welcome me and uh, make it very easy for me to be here and it has also been very easy for me to be here because the dressing room and uh, the people around the club has uh, welcomed me very very nicely. I was in the Katowice doing uh, some medical, some part of the medical and I was running uh, on the treadmill. I was doing a blood test and uh, I think I met you for the first time. And you, what, what did you know about Piaz before? Not much. I I knew that they have been in the top, and then they was fighting for uh, relegation. And uh, my goal when I came here was to help the club get out of uh, relegation. Um, nothing more than that. Uh, I know that the club has uh, uh, strong financial uh, structures, um, and I know that the the dressing room is very strong. Uh, and for and me, this was enough. At Poland, Gliwice. What do you know about Poland and and this part of Gliwice? Mm -hmm. I know that. Uh, a lot of miners come from this area, and I know uh, that the, the the cities are very beautiful, beautiful because of their uh, historical uh, values. Um, other than that, not not much. The language was very difficult. I knew from the beginning, but I think I I I did pretty well in the end. The first moment I remember is that we uh, we saved ourselves from relegation. Uh, and this was uh, a very big day. Uh, the team has been fighting for many months in the bottom of the league. And uh, the day that we finally was secure, I think on the last day when we beat... We beat Tamalika at home, maybe? Tamalika, 4-0. Uh, I know, I remember Bukata scored a beautiful goal. And, um, and uh, this, is, uh, this is the first memory I have. Uh, but for sure, I have a lot of more, but this is the first memory that comes up now. And for me, it was more about coming to Poland and learning how everything works. Uh, I don't have a problem with people having an opinion about me. I, uh, I know that it takes time to settle in a place where you, are, where you, are, where you just come to. Um, and for me, it was the same. I needed time to, to settle here in Poland and in the team. Uh, but um, it went really fast. Uh, the first few months was difficult, but after that, I, I found uh, a very good group of friends in the, in the dressing room. The whole dressing room helped me a lot. Uh, so the criticism doesn't, doesn't affect me at all. I, I respect that people have their opinion, but uh, as a footballer, we, we need to believe in ourselves and uh, the, t the teammates that we have, and uh, I have always done that. This season uh, has a lot of memories um, uh, for, for me and for the team, for my friends on the team. Um, we had a, a fantastic year. We played fantastic football. Uh, we had a fantastic group of players. We also do that now. Uh, but this year, uh, I remember that everything fell into the right pieces. And uh, I am very proud to, to say that I was a, a part of this team. Um, I, I have uh, a lot of respect for all the guys who have been here and are here now. Um, uh, and especially the this, this season that we won the championship was something that I will never forget. Uh, it was uh, very special for me. And your first goal against Lech Poznań, then against Górnik Zabrze, remember these yeah. goals? <laughs> yeah, for sure. The, the, the goal against Górnik Zabrze was, uh, was the one I liked the most because uh, obviously it's against Górnik and uh, <laughs> I made it like this. And it was the season that we won the championship, so 
this season was very good for me and very good for the club and and it's something that I will take with me. It, how important is this, uh, this this goal for you to be a champion of the country which you have never been before? Yeah, th this is uh, this is what you practice for as a footballer. You need you want to win medals and uh, you want to be uh, uh, up there with the best in the country and. Uh, I think that we, when I came here, we were in the bottom, and uh, I'm very proud to say that I can leave the club in a in a better condition. Uh, not because of me, but because of all the the people who have helped me to be a better player. Um, uh, so, in general, I'm I'm very proud to be a history, to have history uh, with this club. And the next season wasn't so easy. Uh, some of guys went, and you stayed. It's a very big achievement because we lost some very good players um, that summer. Uh, so I am I am very proud also that I was a part of that. Um, I hope that the club in the future will do the same and do more medals and uh, develop uh, very good players again and and sell them to other big clubs. Uh, so I have uh, nothing nothing but good words to say. Joel was one of my best friends here. Spend a lot of time with him on the pitch and off the pitch. Do you see this hair? You can find this <laughs> hair. This is a pleasure for you to take me. You so are lucky to have Now me. I'm going with him everywhere. So imagine what people is thinking around in the street. One black guy and red hair. Um, and also, uh, so he left the first uh, year and uh, then Alex Settler left, uh, which was also one of my very good friends. I spent a lot of time with him. Um, so it was difficult. We, I needed to... Uh, form new relationships in the team and it was not so hard because I I had Buddy here, I had uh, Jorge here um, and uh, Tom of course uh, and Urush uh, which uh, every, every one of them helped me a lot. We had a, a very strong group uh, but this is football, the football is changing and the people are changing in their lives and uh, now it's time for me also to change um, and I'm looking forward to the next chapter. Yeah, the start was hard, of course, uh, but uh, we also, I think people for forget that we had a very good European campaign, uh, which was the first in the history of the club. And uh, this also took a lot of energy and time for us. Um, and as, as a club being new in a European competition, then uh, that uh, that's difficult for the mindset and I think that's why uh, the result were not coming in the in the league uh, here in Poland um, because you see also now the team is developing and uh, starting to play very well uh, so I think the the future looks very very bright for Piaslowice. In the beginning it was very hard because I didn't speak Polish uh, and it was hard for me to connect with people but I think the more I was here I understood more P Polish people and the more I've been here, the more I've uh, uh, liked Polish people because you are very open and you want to help uh, help the people who are here. At least the, the people I have met, uh, and uh, and this is uh, this is not the, not a difference for me. Like when you come to a new place, then it's very important you have people that support you, and uh, and that has been the the main key for me. To jest gruszka. To jest gruszka. To jest zielona gruszka. Because I am a person who needs a change, uh, I need to I need to be challenged uh, with new challenges. Uh, I think it's uh, it's healthy for a football player that you are uh, challenged in new ways uh, from now and then. So for me, it's very important that I go to a new culture, try a new league, meet new people, uh, and I have experiences uh, through uh, my career like this. Um, because I think that's how I will grow as a footballer and as a person. And uh, this famous Ibiza group and what's up? <laughs> how it's going? <laughs> yeah, it's, I cannot put words to that. Uh, this is friendships I will have for the rest of my life. And it's hard to describe. Uh, we, have, we have a group that uh, bonded very quickly and very strongly. And um, this is people I will meet uh, for the rest of my life. I want to say thank you to all of you. You have made my, not only you guys, but also the rest of the guys you have made my time here very special. Um, and to the Ibiza group, I will say, I will, maybe we'll see you again after Corona in Ibiza. I don't know when I will come back. I hope someday I will come back. I think in football you never know what can happen. So uh, for now this is, uh, this is goodbye, but also see you later. and. 
to all the people here. I hope I will see everyone again. I want to say thank you also to all of you. All of you who trusted in me, all of you who didn't in the beginning, uh, uh, to all the fans, to all the people around the club, to all the dressing room, all the coaches. It has been a pleasure to be here with you, share this club with you, the pitches with you. Um, I hope the best for all, all of you guys. A lot of memories in this place, so. but I will always have them here. Hopefully see you soon. Yeah. Sooner than... Uh, Sooner than later. Yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye.